the opening scripture, Baracious Bara Elohim at Shema Mutah Yaritz. I always found very interesting how John uses a parallel from this in the most common of terms. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. When we look towards creation in Bereshis, and it actually shows an ability for us to use the formation of the Word of God to have that creation itself. Furthermore, the way Adam saw the world was extraordinarily interesting as he could see from one end of the world to the other. He saw formation. He saw the essence of that creation. When we use the Word of God, specifically the same words of creation, well, in the beginning God created. Well, how did he create? Well, he spoke. Well, what did God speak? Well, he spoke Hebrew. When we start to profess, for instance, Jesus is Lord, Yeshua, HaMashiach, then we receive that essence of the living God, the very presence of Christ himself, and it is within that that we are able to then emulate into the ascension process that takes us into the worlds of Absolut, Berea, Yetzirah, Nasiya, and the teachings uh, from the Zohar, as it is, is where we end up finding these higher levels of ascension in the Kabbalah. Now, these teachings from ancient Israel are made manifest within the scriptures when the prophets would go and consult with the Lord, or in modern Christianity, when we have a personal relationship with the Messiah. This shows us how to enter into that emanation and to then have the formation and creation of the Word of God built forth within the positive affirmations that are set forth and then realize as our goals become something that we have achieved and those actions and the acts that are created are then the works that are made manifest because of the faith within the Spirit. Thus, receiving the principles, the qualities, and the instruction that is given forth for us to receive God's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and then to take that into this world and to receive the kingdom of heaven. It's like going into the field and receiving not only what they've sowed, not just the harvest, but finding a treasure that is set within the earth in the same time as we receive the harvest. That's the reception and the understanding that's given forth in the word of God. We have that spiritual foundation and God's mercy has shown us the severity of our actions and then also an ability to have that loving kindness and the mercy that cometh forth from fidelity and grace to receive undeserved favor and with that favor to sow forth the works and the actions within this world on faith. Then, looking towards that, receiving that eternal crown and the anointing that is given forth as the saints to proclaim God's word to receive his blessings, and to give forth the instruction of the divine scriptures and of Christ himself as we bring the word of God to others, finding the forgiveness for our sins, the supplication for others, and the thanksgiving for the blessings that we have received. It opens up a new door for each and every individual to create a more perfect relationship with the living God, with Christ Jesus, and with everyone around us to see that essence of Christ emulated and to have that reflection of divinity within the soul and the spirit. And it's simple. It's really so simple. God loves you. And if you will proclaim that Jesus is Lord, believe it in your heart, then you can receive that eternal salvation going forth with the good news and the message of Christ Jesus and taking it to all the world. And I want to give you that opportunity right now in this message. If you have never received Christ, Proclaim Christ as Lord and receive that eternal salvation. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.